Hello everyone, my name is Susan Wilson and I'm a Research Data Management Specialist at the UQ Library. I'd like to acknowledge firstly the Turbul and Yagara people and pay my respects to their ancestors and descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country. In December last year, we launched a new resource on the library's webpage to support our researchers navigate the various aspects around open research software, from using it as part of open research practices, right through to sharing and making their own software visible as a research output. Open software is becoming more important to support research, enhance transparency and foster collaboration and efficiencies. So we looked around at the broader environment and we could see that journals and funders are beginning to develop policies around sharing of software or code that's created as part of research to support that reproducibility. And the FAIR principles for research software were released in 2021 by the Research Data Alliance and others to support visible software outputs. The UNESCO recommendation on open science also states that research software is considered a first class research output and that it should be open and shared. So we took that on board as well. More locally, ARDC is supporting visible research software and it encourages the publishing and sharing of software via repositories and acknowledges that software and code are an essential part of research. And of course, open data itself implies some kind of open software. For data to be reused or for results to be verified or replicated, the tools that we used need to be open and accessible, along with any code or scripts that were created. So in this environment um, of open source software tools and a drive to publish and share code, we identified that there was a need for more support in this area particularly for researchers who are not professional software engineers, but are creating or using code as part of their work. So next we had to look at what support would be needed and who would benefit most. So in developing our guide, we needed to recognize that software is everywhere and it's part of the research life cycle from idea generation, data analysis, writing publications and so on. And we need to recognise that many people are not software engineers and this will be new to them, some of the ideas, so it couldn't be too technical. It also needed to highlight that the benefits of open science and open software for a researcher, so there was some incentive to adopt these new practices. And the result was two separate but related guides, one introducing how to find and use open research software tools, and the other introduces how to create and share software openly in a way that it can be reused, cited and recognised as an output. And this is the result, the guide on open source software which is the one we see here, explains that these software tools can be useful in research work and it shows how to find those tools and evaluate them before selecting them for a project. Some of the tools that we look at in the guide include statistical and data analysis tools, collaborative writing tools, programming, text analysis. So there's something at every stage of the research life cycle. And we've also included um, some guidance on meeting the FAIR principles by citing any software that is used. The next part of the guide covers the creation of code by researchers and how to then make that code visible for reuse. We use the ARDC's four recommendations and the FAIR principles for research software as the basis of the guide. The goal is to make it easy for non-experts and point researchers to authoritative resources on code sharing. But we have outlined the key mechanisms for successfully sharing code, such as using version controlled repositories, having complete metadata and documentation, applying licenses and adopting software citation. 
We also let our researchers know that there are UQ systems out there that support these mechanisms. So the guides have been really useful um, and are a first step in supporting open software practices. We will keep evolving it as visible research software is still an emerging practice um, at, here at UQ anyway. So thanks very much for listening.